In today's tutorial, I am going to show you a very interesting slide that can win your audience attention. As you can see here, I have created three options, silver, gold and the bronze and I have given the prizes here and you can add the options. And let me just show you how it works. When I click, the platform comes and then you can see here the gold option, the silver and the bronze option comes and the gold is in the front. And when I click, the gold moves towards the right and then the silver comes in the center and the bronze move to the left and again on my next click the bronze will come front and the gold and silver goes back so you can add your own text here you can change or replace the text so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes and from basic shapes select the oval shape while making the circle hold the shift key so that you can see here you get a perfect circle and bring it in the center then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can choose any color of your choice maybe this color then i'm going to make it a 3d format for that right mouse click go to format shape and go to effects go to 3d rotation from presets I'm going to select this one which is off axis one top so you end up getting this shape this is small again hold the shift key and increase the size you can see here so you get this much size and then go to 3d format depth increase the depth you can see here again according to your requirement you can increase the depth let it be 15 and then go to the lightning and material you can just select whichever color for example i'm going to select this and maybe this i'm going to select so you can see here i have got this shape the platform ready and if you want you can add some shadow effect also that we can do later first let's add the options now i'm going to add a rectangle for that go to insert shapes and from rectangle select the first one which is the rectangle again draw the rectangle you can see here this is the one in the center that will be the biggest so i'm just going to make it more bigger you can see here then shape outline make it no outline and you can give any color of your choice maybe i'm going to just give a light gray color then this is the first option is the gold option for that i'm going to draw one more shape and i'm going to color it with some gold color for that go to insert shapes and i'm going to select this particular option which is the rectangle side corner surrounded just make it maybe this much size and make it fully curved from here shape outline make it no outline and then you can just simply rotate it flip vertical you can see here and if you need you can give some shadow effect if required then I'm going to fill, I'm going to select the gradient fill. So this is the bronze color I have used. So that's the reason it's showing the bronze here. So I'm just going to select, I'm going to select the gold color. We can see here some dark color. I'm going to use it. And here in the center, I'm going to use some light color. So you end up getting this one. Then I'm going to select one more rectangle. Go to insert shapes. And I'm going to add the rectangle at the bottom. Again, shape outline, make it no outline. Again, if you want, you can give the same. Go to home, format painter. You can just click here. And if you need, you can just change the direction. For example, if you want something like this, also you can make it. After this, you can just type insert text. I'm going to type gold. This is the gold option. Bring it here. Again, choose the font of your choice. I'm going to select Oswald. Increase the size. And if you want, you can make it white. Or if you want, you can keep it black. Up to you. And then here, you can add your details here. 
for example this I'm just saying this is hundred dollars for example again Oswald if you want you can choose the gold color or if you want you can just choose some different color and I'm going to insert some one small line here in the form of rectangle you can see here and then below you can add some details here add your option 1 add your option 2 add your option 3 and I'm going to make it somewhat bullet and give some spaces there again change the color to some good colors you can see here so almost we are done with uh, the first one so I'm just going to select this and press ctrl G to group it so this is my first option now I'm going to make it the silver and the bronze option now select this press ctrl D to duplicate and then again come here just change the color for example I'm going to use some uh, silver color I'm going to use some gray a white you can see here and again I'm going to use some gray color and here also the same thing I'm going to use some gray again white and then again some gray color so this is my silver and this I'm just saying for example $75 let me just bring this here press ctrl D to duplicate this is my bronze and again bronze I'm going to just change the color for example I'm going to use this then I'm going to use this and again the same color and here also let me just select the same colors so this is the bronze and this one I'm going to make it say $50 now I'm going to reduce the size of this silver hold the shift key and reduce the size you can see here again how much size you need you can just increase or decrease make sure that you need to select the hold the shift key and select this just go to format and send back and here it is uh, uh, it is blending so I'm just going to give some shadow effect so select the gold and go to the presets I'm going to select the center and you can increase the size if you need you can see here and make it more blur so that you can see here this option is in the back and again I'm going to select this again reduce the size make sure that this both the size are equal so let me just make sure that this is the same you can see here now both same so let me just put one option here another option here and send this to back this is actually small if you want we can make it more bigger let me just reduce uh, zoom out and increase the size you can see here it's more maybe I'll bring it more down this will come here and this will come this side you can see here and again this can be increased further all right let me just bring back to the normal so this is my first slide you can see here silver gold and bronze now i'm going to select the slide and right mouse click and just say duplicate slide so it will be duplicated here then go to the transition select morph here now i'm going to bring the silver here the gold at the back and the bronze should come to the left side so first of all i have to reduce this size you can see here i'm just reducing the size again make sure that the size remains same 
so this is okay this one I'm going to increase the size you can see here bring this front this one here go to format send back you can see here and again this one give the shadow effect the same center increase the blur size and increase the size also here and this send this to back so here actually the gold should go towards the right the bronze should come towards the left and this one will be here you can see here so let me just do the first one and then you can see here the silver comes here then I'm going to make the third slide right mouse click duplicate slide you can see here and this silver becomes smaller now again hold the shift key reduce the size again make sure the size remains same this is okay and the bronze I'm just going to hold the shift key and increase the size bring it in the center gold will go towards the left and the silver will be here go to format send back you can see here again the same the shadow effect we need to give increase the blur size and increase the size so let's play now so the first option is the gold when I click it becomes silver and then it comes the bronze That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.